which I, I'd like to show you in the series how to use the word of God to have your prayers answered. The first thing that we must do, though, is to have a trust for God in our hearts. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing. We must be able to trust the Lord on all fronts. Amen? To get your prayers answered after you have prayed, you must believe, not only trust in Him, but you must believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that it is already done. Because the scriptures say that when you pray, you must believe that you receive it, you shall have it. Amen. Now today, uh, if you will turn with me to, first of all, to Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 23. And it reads, praise the Lord. First of all, in, in verse 22, Jesus reminds his disciples, and he's also talking to us, that we, we are to have the faith of God. Amen? And as I just stated in the, with that scripture earlier, the Lord wants us to imitate him to do what he did as he walked the earth while we are here on earth. Amen? Individually. We are disciples of the Lord. And so he reminded us of this, to have faith in God. And then verse 23 says, For assuredly I say to you that whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Amen? The Lord is saying that we believe it in our heart and we confess it with our mouth, then whatever it is that we're believing, Yeah. 
look like we are to believe God and his word. Amen. Amen. And then go forth. Yes. Because God is greater than any man or any circumstance here on earth. Okay. So we must believe right. God and go forth with whatever it is that God is leading us to do. Right. Praise the Lord. And then, secondly, is that they spoke doubt. Mm -hmm. They acted in doubt. Mm -hmm. The minority uh, report mm -hmm. was done in doubt. The words were words of doubt. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. They had a negative report. They did not believe God in sin, did not believe God in their hearts, and they confessed this doubt before the people, and, and the people believed in them, the ten spies, not God. Amen. Amen. But we must understand that in this life, if you think you can't, Amen. Amen. 
when they went up and saw the land. But the Lord had already said, I'm giving you this land. So that promise is what should have been acted upon all the time. Yes, Lord. But if you'll notice, the Lord says that we must believe in our hearts mm -hmm. and confess with our mouth. We don't want to confess negative things. Mm -hmm. If God has promised it to us, we want to confess what has been promised to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you want to get your prayers, if you want to get your prayers answered, mm -hmm. then you need to do what the Word of God says. Okay. That you should believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you will do that, then you will get your prayers answered. I will get my prayers answered. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. I'd like to go back and read that scripture in the Word of God once again. Romans 10, 9, 10. Romans 10, 9, 10. It's the principle of God. And we need to spend time reading our Bibles because then we will have the insight and the enlightenment that we need in order to journey through this life. Amen. Amen. God wants to answer our prayers. But there's something that we must do as well. And he's telling us the principle that is laid out in his word, and I'm going to read those two scriptures again. That if you, uh, her, uh, chapter 10 of Romans, verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now right there, it's talking about salvation, but it is principle of God for anything that is promised to us. Amen. And verse 10 says, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. Caleb and Joshua, they confess the right thing. And understand this, that they did get into the land, the promised land. Caleb and Joshua got to see and got to live long enough to be in the promised land. But the rest of that generation died out. They did not to the promised land. They were full of doubt and unbelief and they said with their mouth and they believed it in their heart, not get to the promised land. And as a matter of fact, God said he was not going to let them get into the promised land because they did not believe him. Amen. So let us know that if we want to get our prayers answered, then we don't have to do what God expects us to do. We got to believe it in our hearts and confess it out of our mouths. The promises of God. If God says that you will by his stripes you are healed, then by his stripes you are healed. And then it says verse Peter 2.24, he says, and by his stripes, by his stripes. You were wounded. So we can believe God when we're sick Amen. that we will be healed. Amen. Amen. We can believe it in our hearts and confess it with our mouth no matter what the body feels like. Amen. But to get your prayer answered, that is exactly what you have to do. Amen. To do what 
what God said to do in his word. Amen? Praise the Lord. Now, how many of you are believing for a promise prayer? Everybody. Amen? The scriptures tell us that if we don't get weary and give up, Galatians 6, 9 tells us that we will get our prayers answered if we don't give up and give in. Amen. And I, I, I don't want you to think that God always keeps us waiting. And, you know, he might. He might have to wait. But the idea is that we are to trust the Lord Victorious. 